Here is the strut created in the last task. This time we're going to add a slightly undercut revolved shape in order to make the centre of the strut narrower. For that we're going to use a revolved feature. A revolved feature is a sketch based feature here on the right hand side in the feature toolbar. The revolve dashboard opens across the top of the screen and under placement it lets us define where the sketch is going to be placed. And the sketch is going to be placed on the right datum plane running longitudinally through the strut. Click on sketch to start drawing. And for this we want to be able to snap to the top surface of the, the um, strut. For that we need to add a reference like we did with the cube. So under the sketch menu and references, it lists the two references that already exist, the vertical and horizontal reference lines. We want to point to the top surface of this part of the strut, adds it to the list, we can close that down. We can now use one of the um, arc tools, and in this case it's the arc that uses a centre and two end points. The centre of the arc wants to be quite high up on this vertical reference line and then somewhere here start the arc, draw the arc across until it snaps to the reference line on the other side. We now need to add some dimensions so we'll use the dimension tool and from the circumference of this arc to this horizontal reference line here. So that's a left click on both of those and a middle mouse button to locate where the number is. We want a 4mm radius on this to make it the same radius here as it will be on the end of the peg. And the other reference, the sorry the dimension, and the dimension tool is still active, is between this point on the arc and this point here. So those are two left clicks and then middle mouse button locates where the dimension text will appear. For this we need 60 millimeters. And the only other remaining piece of geometry we need in a sketch for a revolve is a center line. And it's a particular type of center line. So if we open the line tool and it's this one here that's called a geometry center line. And we snap to any two locations along this horizontal reference that runs through the center of the strut. So we have all the geometry we need now. This line is going to be like a cheese wire that cuts through revolving around the, the strut. We're finished with the sketch so we can click on the blue check mark. We'll move to a 3D view to see what's happening. Here's the line that we drew and this is the revolve that's going to take place. We need to make a change in the dashboard. We need to change it to remove material and then just check that the yellow arrow is pointing away from the centre of the strut so that it is the outside part of the extrude that's revolt removed and not the strut itself. We can use the spectacles or glasses to preview what we're going to see and then the green check mark to finish. Make sure you save your work and you're ready to move on to the next activity.